Bam. So today, today we are going to talk about Yeezys. Yeezy, Yeezy, Yeezy. Before we get into that though, I want to let you all know about this mailing list that Buckets and I have put together. It's going to allow you to get videos sent straight to your email, giveaways, uh, sneak peeks, and early looks at upcoming projects. We're going to do a lot of stuff exclusive to this mailing list. We want to start shifting things over a little bit so it's not just everything here on YouTube is the only way we can really kind of like interact and do a giveaway or give a sneak peek. We want to have something that's a little more exclusive to those of you who really, really rock with us. So we will put a link in the description. You can sign up for that mailing list if you want to be involved. Uh, we think it's going to be very, very cool. So with that said, this is why I didn't spend $760 on the Adidas Yeezy 500 Desert Rat. This was Bucket's idea to do this video, and he bring it to my attention that a lot of people have been asking us about this, so we should give our opinion on it. So the Yeezy 500 Desert Rat, Super Moon Yellow, that's this new Yeezy model, a desert rat. I didn't even know that was a thing. I didn't know they had rats in the desert. I thought the rats stayed in the Bronx. <laughs> so here's what Adidas and Kanye did. I think it's very smart. It's very smart. What they did is you had to pre-order the entire package. And what that package consisted of was a hoodie, a pair of shorts, and the desert rats. Yep. $760. That's what it totaled out to. So if you wanted every one of those and you were going to buy them anyway, big deal. Most people not. You know, you have to think the cotton hoodie and the cotton shorts probably sit. They're very expensive. It's not me personally. I'm not, they, they're okay. It's like one of those hoodies that's cut kind of wide and short made for layering. Yeah. You know, so you can wear the elongated uh, t-shirt underneath it. Whatever, I'm not a huge fan of that style of hoodie, personally, myself. And at the Yeezy apparel price points, personally, I'd much rather go with a Kith hoodie or even a, a, a Born and Raised hoodie or our very own, Uncivilized. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm not really super into the high fashion type, grungy type look. Yeah, but it's definitely a look and people... Oh, no, no, it is a people look. People definitely like it. And those prices aren't like outrageous when mm -hmm. you compare them to the other relative products like that. That's true. I guess let me rewind a little bit. If I were to go with that kind of high fashion look, I would probably do something more like Fear of God, okay. something a little more like that than Yeezy, yeah. right? But again, it's not a crazy high price point if if that's what you want. Yeah. Although it, it is expensive. For sure. But, but it just, it, you know what? Everything is perceived value. Everything, you know, there's some people that will tell you, $30 is too much for a hoodie. And yeah. then there are other people who pay $1,500 for a Supreme hoodie on the aftermarket resale. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's just, it's all priorities. It's all whatever. It's your money. I would never tell somebody how to spend their money. Me personally, that is why I did not buy the Desert Rat. That's why Buckets did not buy the Desert Rat. We weren't really interested in the shorts and the hoodie. You know what I, I regret passing on? That's a question we get a lot too. Oh, is the yeah. Wave Runner. The Wave Runner. Yeah. The Wave, wave Runner's fire. It's not that I didn't like it when I first saw it, but retail on it was high. It was expensive. Yeah, but what they did is they tested, in my opinion, right. they tested the success of that mm -hmm. where it was a, it was done strictly on a pre-order. Right. The same way that this is being done. Mm-hmm. It was open, like we could have got them easily. Yeah, 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 no, no, it was no thing. But yeah. then, but then they saw that it did pretty well. So here's a sneaker that it, it looks like the crazy eight bottom or something. It's you're talking, like, you're talking about the five hundred. Yeah, the five hundred. There are definitely some familiar features. That's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. That sneaker will probably retail. I think someone said it like two hundred. So instead, now you have to spend seven sixty to get them. Then this is another reason too. So I didn't want the hoodie. I didn't want the shorts, and I didn't like the sneaker that much. If the sneaker costs a couple hundred bucks, yes, maybe I buy it just to check out a new model. I think that's one of the things, right, is exciting. We've talked about this when we talk about some basketball sneakers. Yeah. Getting a new model, a new version of something is more exciting than just another colorway on the same sneaker that we've known about forever. Yeah. It's like, oh, how is it going to look on feet? How is it going to feel? How is it, you know, you don't have those questions about a Jordan 12, for example, yeah. right? We've been looking at the Jordan 12 for our entire life. Yeah. Doesn't mean that a cool colorway can't excite you, 
but it's different when it's a brand new model. And so it's like, what Yeezy model is going to be next? Yeah. And they've done a good job of, it's not super close to each other, right? Of course, yes. The 350 and then the V2, very similar aspect. Yeah, absolutely. Right? But the Wave you've Runner. Had, you've had the Wave Runner. You've had the 750s. You had the boots. Exactly. The boots. There's been a pretty wide range. Yeah. And uh, I think that that's really, really dope. So I'm not mad at Adidas for doing it this way. I think business-wise, it makes sense. Yeah, I agree. You know, you know, but that is why I didn't buy the Desert Rat and why I didn't spend that 760. You agree? Yeah. Buckets and I have already talked about this. We talked about it when the deal was on the table, 760 bucks, and this is what you get. It's just way more than I would ever pay for the Desert Rat. So it didn't, and then, you know, there's the thing, right? Okay, well, maybe we could resell the hoodie and the shorts, even if you only take a small loss yeah. on it. Like, of course, you probably couldn't get over retail for them, but, you know, to kind of drop it down yeah. a little bit, but still no. And you know what? That's, that's a pain in the ass. It's kind of like when a pack of sneakers comes out and you're trying to split the pack, Yeah. you know, okay, you take the Carolina blue 11s and I'll take, you know, it, yeah. it, it's just, it gets kind of annoying and it turns into a hassle, a hassle that I'm not really um, trying to partake in. So, oh, nice. There you go. Partake. They're doing a pre-order model. Yeah. It's like a new thing within retail that I've seen. Right. And now the pre-order model kind of kills hype because if anybody can get them, but if the pre-order window is open for, you know, a day yeah. or whatever it is, then I guess it could... What I've found when I've seen pre-orders on sneakers is that nobody kind of wants them. You know, there's been some Kobe's that have been pre-ordered yeah. and different stuff. But then later, but then later, that you know, they, a they, few months later, yeah. a year later, two year people are like, oh, because they maybe had, not that many people wanted them because yeah. it was a pre-order. And now, just by the nature of how that works, now they're super dumb limited. That's how Nike ideas. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So I hope that answers a lot of your questions. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, we've been getting asked about this a lot. You know, Yeezy always generates a ton of questions. It brings them out. It really does. It generates a ton of questions. It's a nice change of pace. So, you know, that's our thoughts on it. Leave a comment below and let us know how you feel about what Adidas did here. Let us know how you feel about the sneaker, how you feel about the shorts, the hoodie, all of that good stuff. When it comes to something like this, a discussion, always love to hear your feedback and your opinions because that's what's great about sneakers and fashion. We don't all have to agree. We don't all have to spend money on the same stuff. That can vary and is really very much up to the individual and yeah. each person personally. So leave a comment below and let us know how you feel. We will be back very, very soon. It is the almost daily vlog after all. This is Buckets. I am Foamy. We are out of here. Oh, nice. Wow.